You know, the older I get, it seems like time moves faster and faster. And I can hardly believe that we're already almost into fall. It just uh, boggles my mind. This time of fall is one of the most exciting times because that's the time that we offer our Gratitude to God pocket calendar that you carry with you in your pocket. And you can see right here it has a pen attached. We'll begin accepting orders of this in October. And the reason I give you a heads up on this for our 2014 edition, you know how fast that sells out. It's the biggest thing we do every year because it changes lives. Gratitude changes the, the pain of memory into a tranquil joy. It is an amazing spiritual process. The way it can heal current mind, but also past mind and even future mind on what you're anticipating in the future, giving thanks in advance. Colossians 3, verse 15, it says, Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Now, a lot of people quote that, but they don't quote it all the way. It goes on, and it says three powerful words, and be thankful. For most of us, life is busy, and for most of us, life is complicated. We're constantly on the go, and we have countless responsibilities, some of which begin before sunrise, and many of which will end long after sunset. I know that well. So amid the rush and the crush of daily grind, it's easy to lose sight of God and God's blessings. Our human eyes get so fixed on the things that need doing and the busyness of life that we forget to hold an attitude of gratitude. And when we forget to slow down, when we forget to say thank you to our Maker, we rob ourselves of God's peace and power and joy and comfort. Our task as thoughtful and thankful adults is to remember to take time and to make time to praise God for the many things that God does during the day. And then with gratitude in our hearts, there is a new power that comes to us and a new power that is an attracting power that attracts good to us. With gratitude in our hearts, we can face the daily duties with the new power of God's peace. And probably even more important than that is a power of perspective. And it is a power that is beyond human definition that only God can provide.